Hey everybody, this is Sean with Tab Off-Road. Today I'm gonna to be installing the Tab Off-Road spare tire holder on this Polaris Razor 900S. The one we have here is in Velocity Blue. Be sure to double check our website and social media platforms for the different color options available because there are uh, a couple different color options. Also be sure to double check our website for the fitment on this because it fits more than just the Polaris 900S model. There's about 20 different models that this is actually compatible with. Um, spare tire holder comes with everything you see here the actual piece that the tire goes on the support arm all the hardware all you'll need will be an 11 16 wrench or socket driver and a 3 16 allen pretty simple so let's get started there's a number of different ways to install the spare tire holder but I'm going to show you the way that I found easiest if you're installing it by yourself just to show you that it can be done alone you don't need two people however two people will make it a lot easier First, I'm gonna take the support arm, and the support arm, the bottom piece has got six holes for the bolts. The top piece has got two. Just gonna get that as close as I can to center on our bottom piece here. Then I'm gonna take the spare tire holder and get it, the top piece kind of as close as I can to center on there as well and then I'm just lining up the holes on the tire holder with the holes that are already pre-drilled in the frame once I get that lined up I'm just gonna hold it in place and install bolts and this is kind of where a second person would come in handy just to hold everything in place while you're trying to get these bolts in here. But just have patience, they will go in. Now that I've got the two bolts in, one on each side, I can kind of just get everything straightened up here. Kind of push things in place where they're gonna be when it's seated just to make sure everything's lined up. everything's lined up then I'll add the last two now that's in place next I'll add the pieces that hold our support arm to the piece that holds the tire Then I'm just gonna get these kind of loosely started. Once I kind of have everything in place and where I want it, then I'll come up top and uh, get the top bolts bolted down. Again, this is 11 16 That's all there is to it. Just a couple bolts to get that on there. Be sure to hit that subscribe button down below. Also be sure to check us out on Facebook and Instagram because not only do we have products for other Polaris models, we'll also be coming out with uh, other products for the Can-Ams and Honda Talons as well. So just be sure to check us out there so you can see the new products that we're coming out with. Thanks for watching.